Are you at it again? It's very hot. It's very hot. I don't want to be doing this either. Uh, I really don't. Yeah, but it ain't going to do itself. It should. <laughs> Welcome to putting in work. I do it all the time. I just don't ever do paint stuff. You don't do anything besides wheel bearings. And clutches. And oil changes. <laughs> Alright, so guys, welcome back to part two. Or welcome to part two of getting the bodywork started on uh, these two nuggets. So, I never finished sanding that last, hopefully last batch of Bondo on the door. And DJ pretty much finished up these two small dings on his door. Maybe there's one or two on the panel there. But other than that, he's pretty much ready for just sand, sand, sand. Oh, there's a... Yeah, I saw something on the hatch here too, but yeah, uh, pretty much just sanding for me. I still got to shave my antenna, um, fix the ripples down the side here. Not looking forward to that, but got to get it done. Um, but other than that, yeah, uh, this fender, like I pointed out in the last video, I got this weird little patch of whatever this is, presumably Bondo. It feels like Bondo, so yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Probably just strip that all the way down and see what's going on there, but same old, same old. I mean... It's not gonna be fun because it's like 108 and it sucks and Arizona's stupid, but we trying to look fresh. True. Finally. Gay little mini tacos. You know, I was put onto these by you, so you're the gay one here. I mean, they are good. Yeah, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. So, you are doing the fender vents, right? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to... I think, I don't know. I need to go get them though, huh? Your spare fenders? Are they in good shape? Good enough I think shape? So. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. They're across the street. Oh, Ramones? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to do it today. We can do that when I get back. But, yeah, he wants to do the fender vents like I did on the Integra here. They're pretty easy to make. Um, I just suck with Bondo. It's not this one. This side somehow hasn't cracked yet, but my driver's side one, it's all cracked up here. Can't really see it, but there's a good size crack going all the way along there in the Bondo. I don't know why. I don't know what happened if I laid it too thick and wait long enough between coats or what, but kind of sad. All right, so I don't want to bore you guys with a bunch of sanding, so I'm just kind of kick at it for a bit and uh, update you guys and film some random stuff here and there. Progress so far, been at it for probably like 30, 45 minutes. Maybe, I don't know, probably 45 minutes. Got this fender all sanded, this door all sanded, 320. This quarter panel, uh, half the target. I forget that I can take the roof off, so I'm gonna do that separate so that way I can kinda, I don't know, get in there a little bit better and so I don't have to be reaching across the car. Got this top sail piece here. Uh, this plastic piece, uh, I may take off. I may take off the sail panels too. So that way I can try and clean out the, the clip drains or whatever because my trunk does get a little bit of water in it here and there. But I've got the trunk panel sanded, half the rear varnish sanded. Uh, this quarter panel and this door. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to do the main body in 320. And then for the bumpers, I'll pull those off and do those separate. Uh, just because it's going to be a little bit easier that way having it on the saw horses or whatever. And DJ is about as far as I am. Not looking too shabby. Uh, maybe he's only got the one side done. But yeah, I think I'm gonna pull out the welder really quick and try and shave this hole. So I got some scrap metal just to plug that. Make it look nice. This is the only panel on this car that still has clear coat. The dust hole antenna is really funkily shaped, so I just took some tape, slapped it on there, and traced it out with the uh, Sharpie, and then I just took it to my sheet metal and cut it out. So all I gotta do now is just take the cutoff wheel and just kind of roughly cut that shape. Then I'll get that down to bare metal, take my magnet, and then just uh, hold it in place with my magnet, and then tack it, and tack all the way around it, and then we can grind it flat. And if we need to, we'll throw a little bit of uh, Bondo over it to really flush it up, and then just sand it like normal. And that's how uh, I'll be shaving that antenna.
got the general shape of it. So I, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely use some Bondo to keep this, um, I don't know, to fill it all the way in. But I'm gonna go ahead and tack that in place, get all the way around it, um, and then that piece is done. Just a little heads up, whenever you're welding on the body of the car, you wanna disconnect your battery. Um, I forget exactly what, it, but it's something to do with, it can kind of, uh, the ground can travel through the car, and it can blow a fuse or something like that, so disconnect the battery, it prevents it from like, uh, overcharging the circuit or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, but better safe than sorry. from the little thing that comes around here. Oh, the sticky stuff from the trim piece yeah, exactly. or whatever that, yeah. yeah. Trying to get that. I got it up there. I'm trying to get it right here too. And then, it's hard work. It's a lot. Yeah, it'll be worth it though, hopefully. Well, it's getting pretty late in the evening. We both got to work tomorrow, so we're gonna call it a day for the for the day. Uh, I had to scrape off all the bond that I just laid over my weld right there because I didn't use enough hardener and it was still mushy after like 30 minutes. Uh, same with that side and all that. So reapplied more. Hopefully it cures. I mean, it's been on there. Okay, yeah, it's curing. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna just have to call this. Not a video, but we'll come back once I get back from Wisconsin and we'll uh, finish up part two of prepping the cars. And I think probably the rest of the video once I get back, we'll finish sanding the cars and try and get DJ's fenders made up. But yeah, see you guys once I get back from Wisconsin. All right, so it's been a couple weeks since those last clips. Um, I've since then got a little bit more sanding done on the Del Sol. The shave on the antenna is almost done. I'm just having a little bit of a rough time smoothing out the transition with the car. I went through, got some of the hood sanded up to 150. I had to go over it super rough with 80 because of how bad the orange peel on it was that I never sanded out. The bumper, struggling, but the rest of the body is good with 400. Um, got a little bit of bonnet to work with there. Not too worried about that fender because it's kind of misshapen anyway, needs to be replaced. Uh, uh, antenna, got to smooth that out the other door. There's a middle or a little high spot um, in that. I don't really know what to do with that. I'm just really not concerned. It is by no means a show car. That looks way better than it did originally. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep on sanding. Uh, DJ just showed up and uh, yeah, like I said, it's a few weeks later, but I just checked the clips and this boy, last time we started this video, he's over here eating these damn things. And he's still over here eating these damn things. Still from the last time. Yeah, same ones from three weeks ago. Four weeks ago. It's just, it's just convenient. <laughs> it's like, on the way, cheap, and grab it real quick, and we're good. I don't know how you do their coffee though, it's pure sugar. I never get good it, coffee it from It tastes Jack. so good though. Uh, the little ones, if I get the big one, they usually put way too much caramel. As Doge. Oh, well that's, that's why actually. You get the mocha. Mocha's nasty. It's not though. Co coffee is only good caramel and vanilla. Chocolates no, for ice cream. Because you're forgetting hazelnut as well. True. Hazelnut's the only acceptable substitute when there is no caramel or vanilla. I will buy you one of those. <laughs> because it is as Doge. Doge will tell you the same thing. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> we're gonna get some sanding done. Uh, I don't know, we don't really have a set time. We have a kind of a goal, obviously before Eibach, if the world doesn't end by then, but we still got two months and it's not gonna take us two months to finish sanding these cars. His car doesn't need a whole lot of prep work because, the, like I said, the color is similar to that already. Mine, I just don't care enough. Um, as long as it's cleaner than what it is now, which is not gonna be hard to do, I'll be stoked, because, I mean, it is what it is. Not no show car, not no race car, just a daily driver that's fun to drive. Hopefully without dents. I do have to finish pulling these dents on this side though. I haven't even started on the door right here. So I'm gonna have to probably work on that right now, pull out the stud gun and stuff, but I'll try and get it taken care of. And hopefully these things can, hopefully we can maybe even paint it next weekend or the weekend after. Really not a whole lot to update. It's been probably an hour and a half, two hours. I got this piece almost shaped. Actually, I was, I don't know. I don't know how I did it to be honest, but a little bit more Bondo there if I even really get to it, but I think I will because I got that part reshaped because um, it was kind of dented in right there on the wheel well, so I'll try that last little bit. Uh, I worked and got the dents pretty much pulled out of the door right here, how it was rippled like somebody broke into it. So waiting on this Bondo to cure and then I'll give that a sand and that should be okay. This piece, pretty much good to go. Um, DJ is waiting on some Bondo to dry as well. Yeah. And he's just been sanding away at the body, doing what he can while he can. Uh, this door, pretty much good. Fender, I just had the little patch here, um, cause there was like a little ding, but that's okay. So I think once I finish sanding those two Bondo spots, then I can just go ahead and finish doing normal sanding. But I need to, I realized how much better, or at least for me, easier the orbital is to use. It's just more convenient for some reason, maybe because it's just rounded, I can kind of taper the edges or something. Um, bevel them or whatever, but I need some sandpaper for that and uh, Yeah, just more work sanding 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 I'll pop the mirrors off and then like I said I'm gonna pop the bumpers off and do those on their own, but I'm not gonna worry about the sail panels and all that I'm just gonna paint that all on the car. I don't want to deal with that crap I fucking hate reloading this Seems annoying That's why you're supposed to buy the big square sheets because these are made for quarter sheets so you peel the other one into four quarters, and they fit perfect. Good enough. So another day has passed, and uh, instead of sanding today, because it's it's pretty hot out today, uh, today's Sunday, I just got out of church. Um, Doge is working on his S2000, so you know what, we're gonna go pay him a little bit of a visit. Uh, I think he's making a splitter and then we may have a guy another youtuber coming by later He's actually passing through the state. He just actually went and picked up a new project car for his channel um, But he may also be wanting to meet up a little bit later, but we will see but for the moment. Let's go get some meet up with some doge uh, Yeah, just got some fresh Duncan. So it's a good day so far. Let's get over there. been steadily pushing away and making his own splitter. Trying to. Doing yeah. Eric Cattillo away or Eric Cuddle way <laughs> with the plywood. Oh yeah. But it looks sick. Man, I'm, yeah, I like it. I see your little brackets right here. Is that just, cause this is, he said this is all budget setup, so I'm assuming this is just some cheap stuff you got at Home Depot for the mounting points? Yeah, I ended up uh, using some radio backstrap material. Oh, okay. uh, there's a walkthrough on the Evo forums I ended up following. The guy recommended this stuff. I think he's working with something a little bit wider, though. Yeah. A little bit stronger, because this is pretty flimsy crap. But uh, Yeah, it looks a little bit like it, but I mean, it looks like it's pretty, I mean, it works so far. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, kind of got to tell what you're working with, because uh, yeah. I definitely don't. <laughs> well, I don't know. we'll perfect yours, and then we'll just have to make everybody in the group one. Yeah, I know exactly. DJ wants one, Ramon <laughs> wants one. Yeah. I definitely could use one on the Integra. Yeah, and Ramon had one for, uh, I think he had it on his AP1. Did he? At a dove sport setup. Oh. And it, um, I think he pretty much just took bare plywood and uh, painted it, rattle canned it, which 
that's as low cost as it gets and it holds up for a while, but it's not weatherproof enough for yeah. you know, really hashing in the canyons on it. I mean, with all the rain we get out here, yeah, <laughs> yeah sure exactly. hold up for a while. Well, yeah, and you guys are a quarter mile away from each other and have a bunch of washes you have to drive through when it really gets poured on. So yeah, I feel for you. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I think plywood was probably the way to go for sure. Yeah, the tabs haven't survived. So. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about new bumpers is all the plastic tabs that hold in. Yeah, it's like once you take it off x amount of times, it's just it never goes on in the sand anymore. Yeah, it gets are... weak. These ones are really good, but uh, yeah, they've still only put up with so much. So we've pretty much got the splitter on. We're trying to tighten down these little bolts to be like, I don't know, to hold it up, but he made really teeny tiny cutouts. I have tiny hands, leave me alone. That little tiny square <laughs> right down there is the cutout that we're trying to work with. And I don't know. I don't have big hands to begin with, but I can't I can't get them in there, so it's so hard. And I keep trying to tell him to get an electric ratchet. He just ain't about that life. <laughs> no, I really need one. <laughs> Soon, someday. It looks better now. I don't know why when we first got here it looked like it was like sucked in a lot more, but how far it's sticking out now I think looks perfect. Yeah, I just like the that balance I think. Trying to hit it somewhere around where the APR lip is. Yeah. It's about the same size. It's just they're super narrow, super thin. So we'll see. I, this one's probably going to get a lot of abuse. Maybe yeah. Right. So Doge finished up his splitter for the most part. Turns out, turned out pretty good. Uh, right now, I'm heading over to Caveman's house to pick up my stickers finally, the DA stickers. All right, guys, we are back home. We got our stickers. Take a look at these. These things look pretty darn cool. So there is a limited number of these. The last couple times I had stickers made, I just had to make a whole bunch of them, and we kind of just threw them out there and hoped for the best. This time, I did make a limited batch because I wasn't sure how they were going to sell because, um, yeah, a lot of people say they want them, but when the time actually comes to get them, everybody disappears or something. So uh, I think there is about 30 here, so we're going to see if we sell out all 30. Uh, I'm going to post these up on the big cartel, so the link will be in the description. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will scoop them up and enjoy them. But I am going to end this video off here. It's been a long, hot couple days, and I just don't know what else to add to this video besides more sanding, which this video has already been in the process for like three weeks now because of all the different clips. Um, so if it's long, I'm sorry. If it's short, I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Drop a like on the video. Hopefully if you're new to the channel, you've considered subscribing by now. And uh, I think next video we're going to try and get that fuel pump in, in the Miata. So that way once I get the ECU back, which it should hopefully be getting sent back to me tomorrow, which is Monday, um, then we can get that thing back to the dyno, get the tune sorted out. And then once I get a little bit of money after that, we can go get that thing retuned and turn up the boost a little bit. So anyway, guys, do what you love. Think about the rest. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.